It's not just like Papadopoulos drops in out of nowhere. You have all this stuff going on in the summer before, before we get the Papadopoulos information. You've got all this information coming out about what the Russians are doing with the hacking and the dumping of emails, clearly intended to have an impact on our uh, political system. And then in the midst of that, that's when we get the Papadopoulos information. Now that from a former general counsel of the FBI, Jim Baker about our next guest. George, George Stephanopoulos says that uh, Papadopoulos, I just got you in the Stephanopoulos, that would have been a fun story, uh, that said he has only <laughs> just begun to lay out the timeline of when he believes the Obama intel agencies were attempting to entrap him, and he joins us now. Now, George, what haven't Thanks you revealed uh, to date? Um, is just, you know, how many agencies were coming after you, one person, and something that they tried to get your girlfriend to do? What was that? Oh, my God. Um, thanks for a lot for having me, Laura. So besides um, the FBI trying to um, have my then-girlfriend, now-wife, actually wear a wire to try and uh, entrap me herself, um, which was completely crazy, uh, she was an Italian uh, citizen visiting me as a girlfriend, and they subpoenaed her and basically tried to flip her against me, which was incredibly bizarre. But what uh, we believed they really targeted her for was because she actually knew all about Joseph Mipsud's connections to the Italian government and his connections in Europe, which uh, we just recently found out today that uh, the Italian government, um, under the presidency of that country, the prime minister, I should say, just fired the heads of uh, three intel agencies in Italy. And I think it has to do with this person, Joseph Mipsud. Um, who the president and uh, Devin Nunes and other people have been uh, asking the government in Italy to examine a lot more because he's actually at the core of this entire uh, scam. Yeah, people uh, forget about these figures. I mean, this starts to read like a John le Carré novel, uh, the way this entire thing is played out. But you've heard the Democrats and what they're saying. They're saying this was well predicated. You had Brennan last night. I think we'll play the, uh, the video. He was on television last night again. And claiming that this was all this is all copacetic. Let's watch. I do believe it's important that there be an understanding about just how strongly predicated that investigation was. I was there in the summer of '16, and it was very well predicated. Well predicated, George. Um, I want to make it very clear that um, by the time that I joined the Trump campaign, before my name was even public. Uh, an FBI intermediary named Arvinder Sambe at a company I used to work for in London introduced me to this person, Joseph Mipsud, at a company, at a school, I should say, called Link Campus, which the CIA and the FBI trains at. Fast forward to April of 2016, I'm, uh, I'm, the Australian government is reaching out, trying to connect with me. 10 Downing Street is connecting with me. And then, of course, which I find very suspicious, is that the DIA reached out to me at the U.S. Embassy in London, these two individuals named Gregory Baker and Terence Dudley, just days before this infamous meeting I had with Alexander Downer, who uh, I've testified under oath and I've uh, reported both to the FBI and Bob Mueller that I felt that he was uh, spying on me. And something I want to, you know, make clear about this uh, meeting with Downer, um, I don't think I was just suspicious that he was spying on me because um, in my transcripts uh, to Congress, you see people like Mark Meadows and John Radcliffe asking me if I ever was presented with transcripts of any meetings I had with Alexander Downer, mm. Joseph Mifsud, or any of these strange people that were running into me, and I said no. So I think Congress probably has transcripts. They probably already know, and the uh. president already knows that these people were spying, and that's going to be a big bombshell moving forward. Ooh. Ooh, this is good. It's going to be right, great. George. All right, George. <laughs> now you've gotten me really interested in this. Okay, I love the transcripts tidbit. Thank you so much.